just before we start this podcast, I'd like to shout out the sponsors, Powers of 10 and Wellness, Wellness Lab CBD. Boom. You're watching the What's Happening podcast. I'm joined by Jay, Jay uh, Hutton, uh, also known as Jay from Tattoo Fixers. Jay, yeah. thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Pleasure. Um, so, Jay, um, tell us a little bit about yourself for the people who don't actually know, and then we'll go into it. Okay, so I'm Jay Hutton. I'm a tattoo artist. Um, for anyone that does know me, you probably know me best from a TV show called Tattoo Fixers, where we fix mad, mad shit tattoos. Um, yeah, it was... a mad mad experience it was so like the show just took off went yeah. massive and i think that's probably where people know me best from yeah. to be honest yeah but i was obviously a tattooist before that for seven or eight years before the show came about so yeah grafting away there yeah. before that happened <laughs> so uh, let's take it back to your earlier beginning then so yeah. jay where are you from so i'm actually from north wales yeah Whereabouts? Um, so just outside i'll say just outside a real place yeah. called abigail yeah. i grew up in um but Probably most people will know Rill. I'm sure you've been to Rill. Yeah, yeah, the Sun Centre. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. haven't been to Sun Centre. Everyone says it. Yeah, so I'm just just outside of Rill, grew up there. Um, yeah, there's me. There was me, my mum, dad, my brother. Got one brother. Um, yeah, grew up in Abergelly. Yeah, started off, mate. We lived in a little uh, two-bed house in a cul-de-sac. Um, my mum and dad have just always been grafters. Yeah. My dad was a singer. Oh, was he? Yeah. Yeah, six, seven nights a week, sings in yeah. pubs and clubs and that he was. Um, and at the time, my mum was scrubbing toilets and pubs and yeah. stuff. So, like, proper humble beginnings yeah. and stuff, yeah. Um, but we loved it, mate. Like, yeah. it was, we just had, like, we were just dead tight, me, mum and dad and my brother, always been so close yeah. and that. So, you know, I had a great upbringing. Yeah, that's the most yeah. important thing, you know, at, yeah. the, at the end of the day, is, is good upbringing, family yeah. and... I'm very lucky, like, Showing you know. love, you know what I mean? Because not a lot of people get it, you know what I mean? So yeah. you're, 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 sometimes you do feel privileged, you know yeah. what I mean? Because especially when and you're so, in them type of uh, situations where you're looking around, some people, you, you haven't got the mum or they haven't got the dad. Yeah. And you do look at it like that, Well, to be you? honest, mate, yeah, it's... You, I, that's exactly how I feel. I feel, like, really lucky that I've had that because I do see a lot of people, yeah. you know... They don't have the same thing, so I'm very lucky that I did have a loving mum and dad and brother, and you know we were all super tight, even closer than most families that I know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm very lucky. I had a really great upbringing. Um. Really supportive mum and dad and brother, and yeah, I'd say that they're all the reason I am where I am. Yeah. To be honest, I they wouldn't support. be here without them. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah. um, so wait, what time? What what then? When did you start uh, ta um drawing? Well, I've been drawing all my life, yeah. um, so I can't. I actually can't remember not not drawing. Do you remember, like, were you were you straight away? Were you good, or was there something that you? Put, I would like... say, do you know what it was for me? Like, I I didn't ever understand how someone couldn't draw. Yeah. So it wasn't that I thought I was good at yeah. drawing. I just didn't understand. Well, I just didn't re realize that people couldn't draw. Yeah. So it was only as I went to school and people just started saying, "Oh, wow, you're really yeah. good at drawing." I used to think. Am I? Why, why aren't you? Like, <laughs> is anyone else in your family good at drawing? Yeah, my dad was artistic. Yeah. Like, yeah. my dad was good is at drawing. He, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, he was good at drawing, but he never really did much with it. So, yeah. um. Yeah, and then my brother as well. But like, I was the one that I used to like draw all the time. Like, I'd come home from school and like from finishing at three till I went to bed at night. I'd yeah. lie on the floor in the living room and just draw all night. Yeah. And I used to do that every single night. My brother would go out with his mates and yeah. stuff. So he was never really into it. But there'd be the odd time my brother would come home and like all he would ever do is like I would be drawing portraits of footballers yeah. And, yeah. and stuff like this. And my brother would come home and sometimes he'd like come in and he'd just like lie on the floor and he'd just scribble something. But he'd always draw a Tasmanian devil. Yeah. And he'd draw it with a biro. And I used to think, that's really good that. Yeah. That's all he ever did. Yeah. So when I got into tattooing, I was tattooing for like three years and then my brother was working at um working on a campsite doing maintenance work like a caravan park and when i opened my shop i took him on as um apprentice as a, yeah as a shop manager apprentice yeah. type thing and sort of taught him how to use the machine stuff but to be honest you have to you have to have it yeah. to be able to do yeah. it and learn it as to yeah. be a tattooist you have to be good at art yeah and uh mate yeah, he is where he is now. No, because well. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking shit at art, me, Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> like me, me, ma, me mum's proper good. Yeah, yeah. And me sister, like me mum, I grew up, me mum used to, she used to draw, always draw, and she was good at it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was like thinking, oh, how can I, how can I draw? Like she's, she's amazing at it, I'm shit at it. Yeah. But then me little sister, she's, uh, she's, she's really good at art, and then yeah. she wanted to start being a tattoo artist. So when she was, uh, 
I think it was 19, 18, uh, got a tattoo gun, got all the pig skins and all stuff Did like that. She started your doing, sister? Yeah, my sister, <laughs> yeah. she could start like to, uh, practicing, you know what I mean? And uh, But like she she fell out of love with it, you know Did what I mean? Yeah. Jay, hopefully she comes back into it because she's really good. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like her walls, that she's full of like all the art that she does. And yeah. some of it I go, wow, she's absolutely amazing, you know yeah. what I mean? And it is sometimes you think to yourself, oh, where she's continues doing it because it is a talent, you know what I mean? Yeah, At the end yeah. of the day, Jay, I think, yeah. I think it is like, as you say, like you think you're born with it, you know what yeah. I mean? But some people have got to work for it, but I think she is yeah. born with it. Well, do you know what I think? It's funny, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, people do say like you're born with it and I agree to that. I, you do, you are born with certain talents, I think. And I definitely believe that I was born with that talent. But, you know, you have to... You have to like it's like anything. You have to put the work in with it because otherwise yeah. you'll never get better at that talent. Yeah. So if you have a talent and you don't, you know, try and work on it and make it even better, yeah, you you could waste yeah. it. Yeah, you it, know become, I mean? it becomes a potential, doesn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, so it's it, yeah. So when I was little, it was potential talent yeah. that I turned it into something. Yeah. Whereas like you know, and that, that's the same with anything. You know, you see kids who are who are great at football. Yeah. But and got, you think, oh, he's got potential, yeah. and then they blow it somehow, yeah. or they don't put enough effort yeah, into that's it or something. It, yeah. And 10 years down the line, they go, fuck, I wish I'd have done more with that. Yeah. Because you had it, yeah. you just need to graft hard yeah, for just it. Just continue going so on. It, it? Yeah, it's, it's all right having talent, but if you if you don't use it, you blow it. Yeah. You know? So you're so. saying you like to do, uh, when you first started doing it, like you used to just like, like to do football players? What, yeah. what was your favourite football player to, to do? Have a oh, little? I, drew, I drew loads, but I was drawing, I was drawing all the Liverpool players yeah. at first. I did like, I did a port, I actually did a portrait of Bill Shankly, I used to draw Gerrard, and then, I do. I, I drew any. I drew anyone to yeah. be honest, mate, because I just loved football. So I said you could draw cartoons of footballers and everything. Everything was football, football, football. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. So I I used to like. I had like a portfolio. I don't even know where it went. We I had it for years. I'd been draw, drawing it since I was like four or five, and I had it right till I was about fourteen, fifteen, and then we moved some stuff around in the house, and I think we put it in like a box somewhere, and it went in the shed, and then I think. The shed leaked and loads of the boxes got wrecked, oh. and I think it just got thrown out. By Maybe that stone now. Oh, my mum and dad were like gutted because like we were like, "Where's that box with his drawings gone?" Years ago. Is that the same portfolio that your dad went into the schools with? Because I you know that yeah. a good little, good oh, yeah. little story I like that one because it's, I had a similar yeah. story and uh, my, my my woodwork teacher said to me, "Listen, you'll do nothing. You'll like you'll Did be nothing." Really? And um, I left college with like the highest grades in their journey. You oh, know really? what I mean? Yeah, so it was sick. a big like finger up to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, nice. but like you know what I mean when you don't get. When you don't get that recognition, recognition that you want, Jay, yeah. sometimes it fuels it, doesn't it, Jay? Yeah, you know what I mean? It does, it fuels yeah. it. So when, when you've got someone who's saying, so you, can you, uh, you may as well explain the story. So your teacher was like... <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, I, I, I'd I, done like, I, uh, in school, in art, when it was like compulsory that you had to do art before you picked it for GCSE, yeah. um, you would, we do like pencil drawings, but then we do like clay modelling and painting. Yeah. I was just specifically into yeah. drawing with pencil. That's a problem with art, I think, in schools, Jay. Yeah, possibly. You know I mean? But I suppose at that age, you've probably... Some people would be into painting or yeah. some people would be into clay modeling and it's sort of finding which one you're good at. Um, but obviously art mixes them all in, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So I wasn't really into it like that, except for the drawing bit. And my art teacher gave given me a report of a C and an F at grade five and the F at grade five was the worst you could get, yeah. which I knew was wrong really yeah. um, in my head. But I was never like an outspoken kid. I wouldn't have been like, you're wrong or whatever. I just it was just a bit like, oh, I, I think I'm one of the best drawers here, but yeah. I wouldn't have said it. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I took that report home and my dad was like, because my dad had seen me draw every night, my mum and dad had seen me draw every night and seen that this portfolio, and he was like, that's not, what yeah. is she on? Yeah. You know, so anyway, got to parents' evening and he took me a report in and he got, got that portfolio and he took it in and I went up to her and I was like, oh, I've got, I've got an appointment with you. And she went, who are you? And I was like, uh, I'm Jamie Hutton. And she was like, do I teach you? And as she said that, my dad was like, well, it's funny you should say that, and slammed his portfolio right down. He goes, look at that. And she was looking at it. And um, he, she she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, these are good. And she was obviously quite embarrassed because she didn't even know what it was at the yeah. time. And um, she was looking through, and then she was sort of trying to close it. And like, my dad was going, no, 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 keep keep going. Yeah. Look at them all. Yeah. And I remember him saying, he remember him saying, and going, he went, tell me a kid that can draw like him in this school because I yeah. bet there isn't one. And she was, anyway, yeah, the whole thing. I was embarrassed at the time because there's other teachers and people around looking. I was thinking, oh, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that happened. And I got moved to another class and I got another teacher and she was she was dead sound. But I thought, I need to show them that. Yeah. I can do. So I drew my, my watch on, off my wrist and it was a Liverpool watch. Yeah. And I got an A for that. And then after that, I just didn't, I just stopped drawing really. I didn't bother with it. Maybe it was my age. I started going out a little bit more. But then 
when it got, I didn't pick it for GCSE because of that. Yeah. And then I didn't, I went to pick it for A-level because I didn't really know what I wanted to do in my life then either. So I went to pick it for A-level and they told me then that I would probably be too far behind because I hadn't done it for GCSE. Yeah. And I remember thinking then, I, I fucking doubt it. Yeah. Like, but didn't pick it. So yeah, just went from there, mate, really, mate. Didn't, didn't do it. And so then what did you do after school? So I stayed on at school. Yeah. At 16, I stayed on to sixth form just basically because I didn't know what I yeah. wanted to do. And I bummed about a bit, to be honest. I just, it was a good two years, to be fair, mate. I had a laugh there. Like, I spent a lot of time bunking off lessons yeah. and stuff. But yeah, I worked. So I, I, I got a part time job when I was 16 in McDonald's because my mum and dad were like, you need to start earning your yeah. own money. You know, you want to pay for your car, you want to pay for this and, and pay to run your life and run your life, run your cars and yeah. pay for insurance and blah, 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 blah. You want these things, you got to learn, you got to pay for it. Well, so, that's, that's, that's it, Jay. I've been on site since I was 14, me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's it. Yeah. You know, you, you're taught to, to graft, you know. Yeah. My mum and dad were grafters. My brother's a grafter. I'm a grafter. So, yeah, so I got a job in McDonald's. Um, worked there for two I hated it. Yeah. Absolutely hated it. Um, but worked there for, I think it was about a year and a half, two years. And then... I went to Asda and I did, I got a job in Asda. On the fishy aisle. Yeah, but I wasn't, I didn't apply for the fish yeah. counter yet. So, <laughs> so I applied for, for Asda thinking, oh, like I'll be maybe stacking shelves or on the music doing the music house. Being one of the cool kids on the music house. Yeah, yeah, sick. I thought, oh, sweet. And it was a bit, it was a couple of extra quid an hour than McDonald's was. So yeah. I thought, oh, I'll be on a little bit more dough as well. Flying. So yeah, I thought, oh, I'm going up in the world. Oh, mate, when they give me the fish counter, I thought, you have got to be fucking joking. And uh, yeah, so they give me this green fucking hat and this apron. And I thought, oh, bollocks, man. This is so embarrassing, yeah. But at the time, so running alongside this, yeah, yeah. my brother was a DJ in a nightclub <clears throat> that opened up. And he would got a job in one of the, the biggest nightclub in Rill yeah. at the time. So he was leaving this other nightclub. And I said, oh, teach me how to DJ. I'll do that. Yeah. And he was like, oh, and I was like, come on teach me how to dj i could do with the money like and that so he was like right okay so he takes me up to this club we go up there mate i was there for half an hour he went that's how you switch that on that's how you do that on that turns that on stick a cd yeah. in there stick a cd in there that mixes that mixes that. Yeah. i was there for half an hour he goes dj on saturday yeah i was like what the fuck so anyway i did that so anyway i did this uh, mate that was one of the best jobs i've ever had yeah. it was sick how long I, did you have that for then jay about two years did you yeah so from like 18 to 20 yeah i did that and that mate i was djing every saturday night sometimes friday and a saturday in this, yeah. this club and it was the bollocks mate it was two it was some of the best times of my life it was, it was so good mate but in the day i was working at asda yeah. on the fish counter. <laughs> so at night i was a dj and in the day i was working DJ in asda. so like Girls would come into the club, they'd see me DJing, and then and then I'd see them come in and ask them, I'd be like, fuck, oh, take this off, and hide it like this. Oh. oh, fuck, it was so embarrassing, mate. I've got to get out of here, I've got to get out of here. It was oh, funny, though. It was good times, though, yeah. mate, good times, yeah. And then, so while I was doing that, and then that's when I started looking into tattooing, and then I sort of had the three jobs at the, at yeah. the time when I first started tattooing. Yeah. So how did you, like, first get into the tattooing, then? Like, how, how did you first get your opportunity? <clears throat> well, there was a shop that had opened a couple of years before around the corner from my mum and dad's house. Yeah. And I sort of, I'd seen Miami Inc. I don't know if you remember Miami Yeah, Inc. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, so that was like the first time I'd seen tattooing. Um, and I just thought they were cool as fuck. Is that like, the, is that the air show where like they come on and like most of the time they're coming in like two o'clock in the morning? Smashed. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't what, know what that one is. That might be tattoos on the road. or uh, Tattoos on the road. No. What's the other one? There's a few. But Miami Inc. was a proper tattoo shop. Yeah. It was literally just like, just keep people coming in with stories about their lives and wanting meaningful tattoos yeah. and stuff like that. And I'd seen them, um, like the first time I'd seen, like you could draw, do portrait yeah. tattoos. I'd seen Kat Von D and yeah. I was like, wow, she's the bollocks. I yeah. love that. Thought they were well cool. Remember thinking, I'd love to be a famous tattooist. Yeah. Remember thinking it at yeah. the time. Um, so I sort of had a plan in me to, to maybe take a portfolio into that shop. Yeah. Um, and I'd done like, so I started drawing like tattoo designs. So like I'd done like two. Yeah. It took me fucking ages. When I look back now, they weren't tattoo designs. They were just proper drawings. Like, yeah. and um, so I was planning on taking that in. But to be honest, at that age then, I was a little bit shy as well. How so old are we in old Denji? I would, uh, 17 going on 18. Yeah. I don't think I was quite 18 at the time. Oh, I might have been. I must have been actually. No, when I thought about when I was watching my I, I was 17, yeah. I turned 18, yeah. and then my brother was getting tattooed in the shop. And I said, Oh, can I come watch? And yeah. he was like, Yeah, okay. So when we got there, the lad who owned the shop came out, and my brother Dan said, Oh, can Jay come in and watch? And he was like, Yeah, yeah, cool. And as we were in there, Dan said to Andy, he said, um, Oh, Jay's fucking sick at drawing. 
And uh, he was like, oh, is he? Yeah. And I said, um, and he was like, oh, let's have a look. And I'd only done the two drawings, and the, but they were in the car. And he was like, oh, let's have a look. And I was like, oh, I've only done two. And he's like, oh, let's have a look at them. So I went out of the car, got them, and he was like, fucking hell, they're, they're good. And I was like, oh, cheers. And he goes, um, tell you what, he goes, go away, come back in a week and uh, do a couple more and we'll see where we're at, basically. Yeah. So I was like, I've got, I'm have got. i going to smash this now. So I spent that week, every single night, I drew like these rapper portraits. I've told this story a million times, yeah. so if anyone's what, heard what, it, they're probably boring. What rappers done? Do you remember? I did. Yeah, I did Tupac, Biggie, Lil Wayne. <laughs> I love Lil yeah. Wayne at the time. Uh, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and The Game. Yeah. That would have been sick, The Game. Yeah, The Game was the boy. He follows you on the... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's a bit further down the line. But yeah, so I drew these portraits, and I drew also... Uh, you know the New York Yankees sign? I drew that yeah. with the Twin Towers in it. Oh, that was sick. I spent like five hours a night on each of these portraits, so they took me all week. I just wanted to impress him, so I took him in. And yeah, so then when I took them in, he was like, you drew them? I said, yeah. He said, did you chase them? I said, no. And he went, fucking I'll start on, maybe it was a Monday or Saturday, I think, can't yeah. remember which one he said, but he said, start on whatever day. And I was like, fucking hell, yeah. shit. So then it was happening then. So yeah. I was like, shit, right. So, and when I got there, when I started, at the shop it was all about like you know the cleaning and stuff like yeah. that all those type of jobs but he be they basically said to me you know you won't pick up a tattoo machine for three years yeah and at the time three years feels like a long fucking time does, to not yeah, tattoo. Yeah. but at the same time at the time i thought well this is what i want to do and you know if i was to go to uni for anything which i wasn't academic yeah. like that to be honest but if i went there there were like three-year courses yeah so i'm just putting three years into something like, like this yeah that, that you want yeah that's what you want to um, do yeah and then I've got it for life. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I was going to stick it out no yeah. matter what. But six months down the line of that, his his like main tattooist who worked beneath him, like she, they sort of had a fallout and she left. And then he just threw me in at the deep end, mate. What, and within like, six months? From, yeah, like six months. Yeah. yeah. I'd only done like a couple of practices on me, mate. Do you remember what your first tattoo you'd done was? On real skin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. so I tattooed I me best mate's older brother who at the time was a bit of a nutcase. <laughs> so I was shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so mate I was just literally just shaking like a shitting dog like <laughs> trying to tattoo him and literally basically he had a, tri a little tiny tribal on his arm yeah. and the lad who taught me to tattoo uh, like drew like a tribal cover up over it so it was a cover up yeah um, but I, I literally it. outlined it mate and it took me like four hours just yeah. to outline it yeah. so like and the girl who was there had to finish it for me because <laughs> I was just taking so long and it looked I mean it doesn't look bad now it's done but it was all right. So like, was that your first one in the in the studio? She yeah. yeah, she didn't do like an on outside the studio. No. Oh no 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 no! It's illegal to tattoo outside is it, is of the shop. It, yeah, yeah, I, did, yeah. I didn't realize. That. Yeah, so basically, when you uh, attack, it's totally illegal to. You have to be registered on the premises that you're tattooing. Yeah. If you don't, you're, it's illegal. What you're doing is illegal. Oh, so, I didn't realize. Yeah, that. Yeah, because it's all health and hygiene based. Yeah. So you know you've got they need to make sure that everything's legit and you're not gonna give people infections from tattooing yeah. them, you know, so if you people tattoo sterile from home, stuff like that. Yeah, it's nine yeah. times ten it's not sterile yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. Um yeah, so so you were there uh, how long were you in the studio for then? Three so one from there. I was there for about three years, yeah. yeah. Um just getting better and better and better. Yeah, well to, to be honest how mate, long do you think it took you to get like when you say I'm saying like this and I'm I'm now good at this, I'm I'm You have sort of stages. So like for the first six months like I do tattoos on and off that I thought yeah. were some were shit and some were good. But after six months, I was really considering quitting. Like yeah. I literally nearly gave up because yeah. I thought, oh, I can't get that. Start stuff. playing thoughts in your head, don't you? Yeah. So, but then I thought, you know what? No, keep, just keep pushing through. Cause I knew I was good at art and I thought, yeah. I, I will pick this up at some point. Yeah. I just need to keep going. Yeah. And luckily I fucking did. Otherwise my whole life would be different. If yeah. I, and it's funny, actually I look back at that, and at the time, it didn't seem like a big thought yeah. or a life-changing decision yeah. because I just was going with the flow at yeah. the time. But now I look back, I think if I didn't what just would you keep be, going, what where would the you, fuck yeah, would I be yeah. now? I, d I wouldn't have yeah. been tattooing. I yeah. wouldn't have had... I don't, fuck knows, I don't know what I'd be doing. Yeah. So it's a, it was actually a massive turning point. Yeah. And then I did just keep going. And then I remember the tattoo that I did that I remember thinking, that's the turning point. Yeah. And it was a ship on this lad's ribs. And I remember thinking... I remember thinking to myself, that's really good, yeah. that is. And loads of people started clocking on yeah. to me then. And then my reputation started building yeah. then through that. So, but that, to be honest, I, I I always feel like you never stop learning with tattooing. Was that, was it then when you started building your um, your portfolio with like, um, like your, your, your Twitter follow? Because you, you started building your Twitter following, didn't you? Yeah, no, that, so that was when was, I left and opened yeah, my own your shop. Own shop. Yeah, you know, you opened your own shop in Elsmere Pauls, haven't you? Yeah. 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 And um, 
And well, you got like, you got that because your dad's mates or someone, were not it? Yeah. So I was twenty one. Twenty one's young, in it really? If you yeah. Well, it, like... I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking to be honest, mate. It, the opportunity came up. So my dad's mate owned the shop, and basically my dad would just gone out for food with his mate randomly, and he said, you know, I've got a premises if Jay wants it, and I wasn't looking. But yeah. my dad was like, you know, it's a good opportunity. Peter's a great guy, you know, it's a good yeah. good setup, and I was like. I was like, yeah, do you know what? Fuck it. Just go Did you just it. do a straight away, snap it up, snap just it up? went for it, yeah. 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 And then, um, yeah, so I went for that. And then, but that was in a completely new area. Yeah. Was so, that just but, on your own? Yeah, so, yeah. But yeah. I took my brother on yeah. as a shop manager. But yeah, I, I, it was all on me because yeah. it was it was my tattoo work yeah. that was going to... Were you still living it. real? Were you, yeah. yeah you still like, living? At the time, was I living? Yeah. So, yeah, I'd, I'd moved out previously yeah. and then I'd moved back home yeah. with my mum, dad and my brother. And then, yeah. We started tattooing there, yeah. Because that's a, like, what's that about? A good hour? Good hour drive yeah, every hour day? Yeah, drive so, every, every day. day. Hour drive there, hour drive back. Yeah. yeah, it was long. To be honest, it it doesn't feel as bad as it sounds, but yes, now, because I've only lived like 15 minutes away from the shop, so now, yeah, yeah couldn't be fucking <laughs> doing that again. Like, no way. Couldn't be arsed with that. But yeah, it was good, mate. One best best decision I've ever made. Yeah, Love so because uh, so you you tried to um, do something different, didn't you? And like you've got like a setup where you've got TV with the movie on yeah, and stuff yeah. like that, and it looks yeah. like a bit more of a house. And then you, yeah. you started building your clientele up, your yeah. celebrity clientele. So um, yeah. just let us know some celebrities that actually started following you. And yeah, so so what happened? The, the story is basically, I, I went, I opened the shop, and I knew then I was starting again. So I I built up a reputation in the other shop down there. Um, and then I was starting again because it was an hour away. So I was, and there was a couple of other shops around there. But I remember thinking to myself, how can I make myself different? Like, because I knew my work was good. Yeah. But I, it, I thought it's going to take a bit more. I want people to have a good experience here. And what then, year is this, by the way, Jay? Twenty one, uh, two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve. So be this is before Instagram was even like a thing. You know what I mean? So there like, was yeah. no Instagram. Yeah. There was no Twitter had only not yeah. long come out. Yeah. So that's the thing. So when Twitter came out. This was at a time where you'd start, like celebrity you, people were saying like oh celebrities were online they were blue ticked yeah. and you knew it was legit yeah. because they were blue ticked and I remember thinking what so you can literally they can might have a chance of seeing what I've written you know you used to write letters yeah. if you were a yeah. kid to celebrities yeah. and hope they seen it and hope you get a reply but on Twitter yeah well I can just tweet anything to what he's just written and yeah. he might see it so I remember thinking well. Fucking hell, I'll just send loads of my tattoo work. And then if I can tattoo a celebrity, yeah. then people will start talking and saying, oh, he's the man to go to because he tattoos so-and-so. Yeah. So I just saw celebrities and tattooing as a thing. And I was like, wow. This like is a little, yeah. There's a gap in the market. Idea, basically. Yeah, there's well. a gap in the market. So. Um, so that's what I did. So I just used to spam the fuck out of people. Yeah. I swear. Yeah. I absolutely used to hound them, mate. Like, yeah. I like if someone, they could write absolutely anything like, could be to do like a Liverpool player could write something about Liverpool. I would reply to that tweet because yeah. I knew, like it'd say, tweeted 11 seconds ago. Yeah. I think he's online. Boom, straight away. Wrote on it. Yeah. And I just used to boom, boom, do that to all different celebrities. Yeah. And I just used to think they'll either follow me or block me. Yeah. And loads yeah, of them followed me. And that's how I started getting followed. Yeah. So like... Who was the first? Like, you, you, you'd always remember uh, your first, like, don't you? Uh, the first, I think the first person... Mine was Bugsy Malone. Was it? Yeah, yeah Bugs Malone followed me. I was oh, gassed. Sick. I was gassed, you know. Hey, yeah, you yeah, it's on, on, old, it's on my old Twitter, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was so gassed. Bugsy Malone on here, that's sick, that is. Um, yeah, so I think it was, uh, I I want to say it was, do you remember Neo, the singer? Yeah. I'm sure Don't it was The him. Heart. Yeah, I think yeah. it was him, yeah. And then Pitbull, the singer. That's sick. Then there was Neo Pitbull. The game. So you're breaking America there as well, aren't you? Well, that's what that's I think. I think, fuck me, America, this yeah. is sick. Uh, Travi McCoy. Yeah. He was like Gym Class Heroes. He started from it. Then just loads like, and then I had like Kerry Katona and some lads off Geordie Shore and then some reality stars over here. And it just started building momentum. Yeah. So, Did anyone what, come to see you? Yeah. So there was a lad off Geordie Shore called Jay. He yeah. came to see me. He was the first like sort of celebrity that I tattooed. So what I used to do was... If there was a conversation on Twitter between me and them, I'd screenshot the conversation. I'd put it all over my Facebook yeah. and stuff. And people in my area just started talking. And, yeah. and you know, then, like, papers got hold of it and be like... And then when he came to my shop, I got a picture with him, obviously, after I tattooed him. And then next minute, papers get hold of it, local papers, yeah. 
Jay Hutton celebrity tattooist, I'd screenshot, I'd take a photo of it in the paper and I'd put that online. And it just started making people go yeah. talking, you know, yeah. oh, he's getting somewhere. Like, you know, he's actually tattooing celebrities. He's fucking good. Getting, no, getting, getting noticed, himself. making yeah. letting people know that you're getting noticed yeah. as well. So I was just creating momentum all yeah. the time and I was always just looking for it. Meanwhile, I ca- carried on spamming the fuck out of these celebrities. And it just kept working, mate. Yeah. And it just, and that's how it just started building. And eventually, there's more to the story, but eventually after that, that's when I got a call for tattoo fixers. Yeah. And I think it's because I just created that thing. Well, that was through Twitter noticed. as well, wasn't it? Yeah, they came through, yeah. through Twitter, yeah. Just people started talking and, and I just got noticed. Yeah. So, yeah. See, like, that's mad. Like, because sometimes I get little, like, t- like little tweets and you think to yourself, don't you? Like, oh, it's blacked out. I'm not even going to, like, message back well, on that. Exactly and then you get you thought, get a little yeah. message saying, uh, yeah. We're, we're starting a series called yeah. Tattoo Fixers. And yeah. uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't watched it, I, I don't know where, you, where you've been because <laughs> honestly, it's, it was something that I used to literally get, get uh, when Tattoo Fixers was on, I think it was nine o'clock, <laughs> about nine o'clock, E4, get down, watch Tattoo Fixers because, yeah. and do you know what? It, it changed the perception of the way I looked at tattoos as well, yeah. in a way as well. Jake was like, before that, it was like the hard, rugged, like, you know, fug look a little bit. Yeah. And then like, I used to like think, oh yeah, I want this tattoo. And then, because it was like one of the only ones I've seen that was signed online. Yeah. And then when I start watching that, I'm seeing you all doing these cover-ups and I'm like, yeah. wow, do you know what? <laughs> these amazing work everywhere. So that's why I haven't, yeah. I haven't had a tattoo because like, I don't know what oh, I want. Got any, yeah. No, no, well, I've, got, I've got, I've got one like, but uh, yeah, like, yeah, I need you to cover that up, Jay. Like, it's uh, I've got a little dinky dinks on me, on me, uh, finger. Oh, yeah. I, want, I want you to cover that up for me. Yeah, if you can. See, I, want yeah. a, I want a full sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you know what? We get that so much. You come in with that, right? And then you go, I want that. But literally, I want it going up my hand on my arm. We go, all right. And so we draw you a big design. And everyone goes, why have you covered it with something so massive? And I think, he fucking asked for it. Yeah. He asked. He, he wants to cover that, but he wants a big gorilla on his arm. So, like, what we're going to do? A tiny little gorilla on his knuckle? No, you're not, are you? Exactly, Jake. Do you know what I mean? So, um, so like, wait, so you got the message from um, from Tattoo Fixers. Yeah. You, um, what happened then? So did you have to go down to, like, London or anything? Yeah, so they messaged me on that. I thought it was a bit of a blag, but yeah. I thought, just in case it's not a message back, so I did. Then I had a Skype call with this lad, and I was upstairs in my shop when I had this Skype call. My brother was downstairs. And after Skype call, I don't know, I just had this feeling. I, yeah. I just thought straight away, because they said that they, you know, were speaking to like 500 artists odd in the UK. And obviously they're trying to narrow it down to three. Yeah. I literally walked downstairs and I went, I've got that. Yeah. And my brother went, do you reckon? I went, I just know I have. Confidence. I just know I have. It was just like a feeling. I just knew. I just yeah. sort of knew. And I can't explain that, but I just knew. Yeah. Anyway, so then they messaged me back like a few days or a week later, something like that, and said, oh, can we do like a screen test? And they sent two people to the to the studio and did a screen test. What's so what, what's a screen test? Do you mean like so, so they, they just bring just the cameras how comfortable in? You're looking. Yeah, yeah. So they, they they bring the camera in and you talk off camera. And they just ask you questions. It's just to see if you're comfortable on camera. Yeah. Um, yeah, must have done all right. So they then they called me back about yeah two three days later or something like that, and they said yeah you've got it, congrats. And I was like oh sick, and they told us you know not to put anything out. Yeah, and whatnot. And I didn't know sketch. There was another girl on at the time called Lou. Yeah, so it was me sketching Lou and Paisley, but I didn't know about Paisley at the time. Um, but I, they told us not to say anything on social yeah. media because no one knew about the show. It was yeah. a new thing. Don't mention it. Yeah. So I didn't. And then like <laughs> a day after, Sketch had, had put a picture of me, him and Lou up saying E4's new tattoo crew or something like that. And I was thinking, who's this lad? He's just, this lad's just posted a picture when they've told us not to. Surely, is, what? Yeah. So he got a bollocking. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, got, and had to take it down. And then I met them. Yeah. So then we had to go, we went to film the pilot, which was a week. So I had to go down to London for a week. And that I literally met Sketch, Lou and Paisley in a pub yeah. the night before with a load of the team. Um, and yeah, mate, we just, luckily we just clicked. Clicked like, straight away. Yeah. Like yeah. he's dead easy. Like if you meet Sketch in person, you feel like you've known him forever. Yeah. Like you just, he seems he's like that. On, that on, he seems like that as well. He's, he's yeah. a cool, calm, collected. Yeah, yeah, he is, mate. Yeah, so he he he's just makes he's just very warm and welcoming. Yeah. So he makes people feel comfortable when they first meet him. So, yeah, um, yeah, that was good. So we all just clicked, and yeah, we just filmed that pilot for a week, and it was just it was mad, like yeah. you know, tattooing under these lights. But they were long ass days, man. Did they have to long pay? Did they have to pay for the tattoos? No, no. Because that's one thing I was always for. It's like, I, I, I always thought, nah, they don't pay for them. I just mm. wasn't sure. I may as well ask no, you. Know what no, I mean? no, no, they don't. No, they're no. paying for the tattoo. They're loving it, aren't they? Loving I know, it. yeah. I should, have, I should have gone in with me, uh, with me yeah. hand. I would have got uh, yeah. the old body done. <laughs> <laughs> so when people say, do you ever do free tattoos? I don't, but on TV I do. <laughs> <laughs> so um, 
It was only two seat, but like, well, let's, 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 before we go into that, we go into the first series. It was an absolute success, weren't it? Jake? Yeah, it was mad. It mate, was, mad. yeah, it blew up. Like, and um, yeah. <clears throat> how was it for you to go like from Jay Hutton yeah. to Jay from Tattoo Fixers? Yeah, Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you've gone mad, from a normal mate. person to yeah. all over the TV, and mm. all, all of a sudden you just must. How many? So before you went on the show, how many Instagram, in, not Instagram, Twitter followers did you have? Uh, so I'd built the Twitter thing up to, to about 7,000 yeah. at the time. And my Instagram, I got that at, that was about 1,200. Yeah. Yeah. It's half um, a million though. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, was, yeah, it was mad, mate. Like, so, <laughs> yeah, we were just like, if, well, when we filmed the pilot, we obviously all became close and we were in this weird experience together. And, yeah. Like, you know, so we all became close. So we, me and Sketch used to say like, God, can you imagine if there's like, it went big or something and we were like actually famous or something and we were like imagine and that that's really it really yeah. but we didn't i don't know if we expected it yeah. to be like that because i didn't really and i don't think you can expect it because yeah. yeah and then it just took off mate yeah. and it was like but it was so rapid it was yeah. like it was like the first the first episode went out and then everything started going mad but then by the time the second and third went out yeah Oof, mate, but then when series two came out, yeah, because everyone's waiting for that the series, was the one. yeah, yeah. When series two yeah. started, mate, that was it. That's when my followers just even like they were going up, yeah, like by thousands, yeah, but literally going over the hundred thousand to yeah. the two hundred thousand in yeah. series two and three, like mental. How do you deal with that as well, though, Jay? Do you, <clears throat> did did Channel Four like do anything to help you with that? Because like for some people, it's like. Like some people some might not be able to deal with that instant. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I've, well, this is before the time that they, all that sort of stuff, yeah. you know, like people have come out a lot and yeah. said stuff since, since, since then, haven't they? But this was before that time, before people were saying that. I didn't personally feel the need yeah. to be talked to about yeah. it. Yeah. I didn't know, I can't say I knew what I was getting into, but. Yeah. Um, well, you wouldn't apply for the show if you didn't want to be on TV as well, Jay, you know what I mean as well? Well, it, it wasn't so much that I did well, I didn't apply. They, they came to me. Oh, yeah. So, like, but um, I mean, you sort of think. I don't even know if you, you think about being fake. Like it's, you think about people knowing you are, but you don't know the extent of it, yeah. what it's actually like on a daily basis. But at the same time, I don't feel like I needed someone to talk to me about it or yeah. to have a conversation about what it's like. I think maybe people who are getting into it now and it's got worse now, like yeah. trolling's even yeah. worse than it was Well, that's what, that's what I'm trying to hit, hitting that, you know what I mean, Jake? So like you've got like people online and yeah. you, you don't even know we've got no profile and you're like, you're just like, do, yeah. do you ever get much hate? I, I can't say, no. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have had it, yeah. like, bad, yeah. like, really bad. Not really now. Yeah. But to be honest, mate, I just, for me, it's a case of, it. I, it's just, I can only speak about the way I deal with it, and the way yeah. I deal with it is, I just think, if you're trolling me, like, you're a tool, mate. Yeah. Like, like it. Yeah, it, is, it doesn't, it? like, I just don't really let it get to me, because yeah. it's like, you you know... That's it. Like they, they've if they if they've got a job, they've they finished the work and then they've gone. So I'll go on Twitter and yeah. I'll, I'll give someone hate for today and to make myself feel good. But yeah. it it what why just just yeah, stop it? Yeah, but like I don't even let it get to me like that. I don't even think about it. I yeah. just think because I literally think it's you sad bastard. Yeah, like, it like, is. That's what I just yeah. think. <laughs> it makes me laugh, mate. Yeah. I like it. Like I to to think that someone would want to go out their way to <laughs> to sit there and right? yeah. say you're a you're a dickhead or whatever I think all right yeah and I, do you know what for me as well like I know myself very well so like it's just you call me a dickhead I know I'm not a dickhead so yeah. it doesn't bother me like yeah. so I don't know I can't I can't really say it it affects me yeah like just because I want I just want to ask because like as I say it because it went you literally like went from zero to yeah, 100 real 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 quick yeah so um how many seasons was it was it was it four se four or two well i did so i did um four in london yeah and two abroad yeah so six altogether i yeah. did but i think they sort of class this the holiday ones as separate to the actual series yeah. of tattoo fixes yeah. yeah so i think if you look at the london ones i think there's six yeah and the holiday ones is two so it's like eight se yeah. seasons yeah so yeah I think I did, yeah, I did six, I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, two, yeah, I think I did, I did the two Holly ones. I think I did four, maybe I did five, can't, I can't even remember, yeah. mate. It was, it was long either yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> but it was good, it was good, like, enjoyed it. It's a good experience, mate, like, I, can't, I wouldn't knock it. Yeah. Like. So what was it like, when you went yeah. down, did you do, like, was it just like a, like a, you were there for like three weeks, four weeks, just people coming in, tattoo, yeah. tattoo, or was it? 
So, like, at first, <clears throat> I think it, it was like a new, obviously, tattoo and the UK tattoo show was quite new. I know they'd done London Inc. a few years before, but doing the, with the cover and stuff, they t there's a lot of things that go along with that. Yeah. So the days were long. So there was a lot of, in the first season, figuring out about how... Because a lot of people who work behind the scenes don't know anything about tattooing. Yeah. They are going off what we're telling them yeah. and, and, and how we work. So I don't think they sort of realised as well how long some of these tattoos take. Yeah. So if we're sat here doing the consultations in the morning, chatting to all the customers about what they want, that can take a good few hours. Yeah. Then I might have a nine-hour nine tattoo in. Yeah. And then that's if the customer sits well. Not every tattoo was a nine-hour tattoo, but, you know, roughly six to nine hours maybe. And then after that, you got to do, like, the filming of them seeing it in the mirror. Yeah. So you could, at first, you're looking at, like, 18-hour days. Um, and so they were long-ass days. Yeah. And then at first, it was like we'd be working solid for, like, a week, maybe two weeks with, like, one day off here and there. And then you'd go home for the weekend and come back. And then this went, like, what, the first series, I think, they took, like, three months to film. Yeah. Yeah. So we're in London all the time. And we go home every couple of weeks or whatnot. Um, as the series went on, it became more of a like a machine. Yeah. Then we yeah. sort of knew what we did. I mean, don't get me wrong. So on on a day when someone's getting ta the thing with tattooing and someone getting tattooed is that you never know how that customer's going to yeah. sit. You never know how long that tattoo is going to take yeah. until you're doing it. So all those things come into play. And when you've got a filming schedule, that can run over all the time. Yeah. Like you could say, we're filming from seven till seven in the seven in the morning till seven at night. And we're getting out at 12 because this customer ain't sitting well. Yeah. And, you know, he's a pain in the ass, basically. Sure, yeah. So, like, <laughs> uh, funny you say that because that was going to be on to me next question. So, like, um, what's the worst tattoo you've had to cover? <sighs> had to cover? Do you know what? I I, I just think that oh, like, they're what, all what, bad. What, yeah. They're all bad. It's from my perspective as a tattooist, it's not about um, so much what's the worst. They're all bad. Yeah. It, for me, it's like the awkwardness of where it's placed and but that how was going to be another one. Where's the worst place to, yeah. uh, to tattoo? Well, oh God, the worst place to, to tattoo someone. Yeah, well, where's place you've stink, where, you, where you've tattooed? Depends if they stink. <laughs> Depends if they stink, mate. Uh, like, I mean, I've tattooed someone's foot. It stank. It was so it was horrendous. And I've tattooed people in other places, and it's chilled, and it's not that bad. Yeah. Worst place to tattoo. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've tattooed everywhere pretty much. The only thing I haven't tattooed is a dick, and because yeah, I just, cause you I just want you won't. I just don't want yeah. it, mate. Like, and Sketch always used to go, yeah, well, "Oh, like I should say, you do it then." Like, I have a choice, mate. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> like, why would I go? Yeah, I'll do that when I don't have to. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't want to do it. Yeah, fuck that. No thanks, mate. <laughs> I just don't want to sit with a cock in my hand and start yeah, tattooing. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> How's your day been, mate? Yeah. <laughs> How's your day been? Just nah. Fuck. Oh, oh I'll, I'll rather tattoo someone somewhere else. Yeah. Um, how hard is it actually to cover up? Because I've, I've been told it's, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I've been told it's well, proper hard. Depends if you know what you're doing. But yeah. <clears throat> so, again, every tattoo's different. Everyone's skin's different. Placements, areas, what they want, all these things come into play. Yeah. So, you know, and... Obviously, people watch the show and sometimes think you're just an, an absolute magician and you can do anything. Because sometimes I've had like mad requests of like people who've got like solid black tribal in their arm. And I, I want this cover that, what Light. do you want to cover it with? A portrait of my mum. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want your mum to have Mike Tyson's tattoo on her face? Do you like, like literally, <laughs> she's going to be covered in tribal on her face. Oh, like, God. You can't, you know, it's impossible. Yeah. And some people, they literally like, don't understand why yeah. well, you, you've yeah. done this on tattoo fix. Yeah, but it's different, mate. You yeah. don't, every tattoo is different. I can't explain it, but it just is. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, cover-ups, mate, they're difficult to do. Yeah. Like, they really are. Yeah. And it depends, like, you know, someone might have something really dark, someone might have something really light, in which case, if it's li a lot lighter, there's a lot more stuff you can have over it. Yeah. And I can make certain things. And, you know, sometimes I might have to position something in a certain way because I might, like, you might have, like, a... Some someone might have like a name here. It's a sick tattoo. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So someone might have like a name here, like this big, and say, "Oh, I want to cover that up with my mum's face." And I'll go, "Okay, show me the picture. Picture her mum's got really dark hair. All right, I can lose that in the hair. Yeah. So then it won't look like it's a cover up. But that means you can't have 
the face sitting here, it's got to sit below here yeah. with that losing it in the hair. So that's why it has to be positioned here. Yeah. Whereas they might have wanted it there. higher up. Yeah. But I can't, there's nothing in the nothing bottom of that picture do. to cover yeah. that up because it's not dark enough. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you have to sort of judge it on every tattoo yeah. and what they want yeah. as well. So where can I so lose placement this? is a big part as well. Huge. Yeah. Yeah, because, and that's again, that's another thing. So when people say to us like, oh, you cover things up with, you know, you've had this little tiny tattoo, but, and you've done something massive. Yeah. Well, you know, they might say, oh, I've got this tattoo here and I want it covered up with a dragon. And yeah. then we might get a cool design of a dragon, and in the part of it at the bottom might be a dark bit. Yeah. And I think, well, I could lose it in there, but that means I've got to place this dragon over here. Yeah. yeah. And I can lose that in there. But if I was to just do the dragon really small, I can't because then yeah. it's, there's it's no dark bit It's going to be hard as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so I yeah. can't lose it in that part yeah. of the dragon anymore. So it has to also be a certain size to make it look like a normal tattoo. Yeah. Plus, from my point of view... And my experience is that when people get a tattoo, they go on oh, only having one. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, that never happens. Yeah. They always get another one. Yeah. The Nine addiction. times out yeah. of ten. Yeah. Right. So when someone says that to me, I I instantly think, right. So you're saying that, but I need to plan in case you come back yeah. and want to extend it because nine times out of ten, you're gonna yeah. do that. So. I'll say this could go here and I'll tattoo it so it looks finished. So if you never come back, yeah. it looks complete. But we can extend it if possible. Yeah. Whereas if I place it here where you want it, it's gonna look lost. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? But that, that's like but that's like the best thing like about you though, Jay, as well. Yeah. That's a good thing because some people wouldn't some t some some are like rogue tattoo shops, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And when they just go, yes, yeah, child. Yeah. And wouldn't care, they just work on the money and they wouldn't like they wouldn't give it like a thought. Whereas like yeah. wait, that's the best thing about going to see a, a proper tattoo artist like yourself yeah. who will literally talk you through, look yeah. you, this, 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 this. Cause yeah. it it's it, it, in my eyes it's it's important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it, Trust. It, it is, it's there for for me, it's the one, it's it's my work and it's yeah. there forever, and it's your body and yeah. it's there forever. So we have to have an agreement here. Yeah. where I'm comfortable and so are you. And if this doesn't work, then I will say you should probably go and see yeah. somebody else then. It's not a problem, but I'm just telling you what I can do. Yeah. Like every tattoo artist is different as well. Someone might think, like me and Sketch, prime example, there'd be stuff on tattoo fixers. I'd look at it and think, nah, I can't. The way I tattoo and the way I look at things, yeah. I can't see something that'll cover that the but way I tattoo but he can see yeah. something the way he tattoos yeah. and how he does it. Did you used to be like that? So when, like, when, when you were like doing the show, did you like, did you half know like he's better than me at this, so I'll do, you know what I mean? It wasn't a case of better. We were just different. Like we were just different. No, styles, I don't different mean better, like, but I mean like, because he's like, yeah, like that's what yeah. you're saying there. We're just different styles yeah. basically. So like he's, sometimes it is about fi finding the right tattooist for the right person. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm the right tattooist for everybody. Yeah. I'm probably... I, I, I'm say I, I'm, I'm pretty up there, but I've had disagreements with customers before, yeah. and I think, well, yeah, it's it's this situation that isn't working before we even get to sit in the chair, because as well, I, I think from when you look at my work online, you can see the sort of style I do, yeah. and you know, so some people will come to me and ask me for something completely different style, and I can do most styles to be yeah. honest, but it's not what I focus on, yeah. so. If I thought someone could do a better job in their style, I would advise someone yeah. to go there. I'm so, not this one of these people who go, oh, I'll take the money. Yeah. No, yeah. because at the end of the day, you're getting tattooed. That's on yeah. you forever. And that's also, it's, it's, it's your reputation as well. But, um, yeah, of course. So, so go, going, off, going off styles, have you ever tried the traditional style, Jay? I've, I've tried, I've done everything. Yeah, so I've you have, done with everything, the knock, With yeah. the knock on the finger. Oh, not that. No, 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 no. Oh, right. Oh, like that. that yeah, far back. yeah. No, no, I've never tried no, that. No, because... Um, no, that's I, different. I had, a mate who, I had a mate who went to college, I went to college with, and um, his dad owned a tattoo shop and his brother had his whole leg yeah. done the traditional way. Did he, yeah? And I was like, fucking hell, I couldn't go through that. Yeah. To be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've never had them, but I can't imagine the pain being too much different. Maybe I'll, someone who does it will be like, you don't have a clue. Yeah. Maybe, but... I've never done that, but I've done every style of tattooing that there is to do. And then that's how I've found... Do you know, it's funny, actually, because, like I said, I've been drawing portraits all my life, so yeah. I've always done realistic stuff. Yeah. Even, so it's my go-to yeah, to draw real, realistic real. stuff. Yeah. So I've tried every style of tattooing and realised I always come back to realism. I probably like the Michael... I was on your page the other day in the Michael Bisbee one that you've done where you've yeah. got the cut off off. 
Yeah. It's unreal. Cool. Like, Thanks, mate. It is. It's like, you put them side to side, you, yeah. you, you couldn't tell. It's like uh, yeah. seeing that one where is it, is it cake or is it real? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it's like, <laughs> mate, honestly. It's great. Yeah. Do you know what, though? That's For me, like, and this is just my opinion, every tattooist will have a different one probably, but for me, like, realistic portraits yeah. is the most important yeah. form of tattooing because... Not a lot of people can do it as well, Jay. Well, and that's right. Yeah. Why? Because, you know... I tattoo people, right? And these, some people, people are grieving, you know, and they've got, they've had someone that they love pass away and they come in and they've got this picture and it says it's their mum. That means the world to them. Yeah. And that's that picture. Now what they want is a photocopy of that on their arm yeah. or wherever they're having it. That's my job. Yeah. And my job is to nail it, not get it close to yeah. or get it to a point where I get, people go, oh, that's nice. Because I've seen portrait tattoos, right? And I've looked at them and gone, that's done really well, yeah. but something's not right yeah. about it. It's 95. So, something in their yeah. eyes are not right. Yeah. It's not quite right. Yeah. And that's that's the trick. Yeah. And it's about, you know, I try my best to get to as close to perfection as absolutely yeah. possible. So, and it takes such concentration. Like, like you cannot be off for yeah. a second. I have to be switched on every time that needle touches that skin yeah and to some people that might sound fucking intense right yeah. but it is yeah it is so intense uh, it's in my Christmas. head it is yeah like i'm i'm and it's not like i'm ne i'm not nervous yeah. at all i'm not like oh god if i fuck this i don't think about that at all because yeah. i'm not I, in my head it isn't gonna i'm yeah. not gonna fuck this up or yeah. i'm gonna smash this that, yeah. i don't ever think i'm gonna fuck something up yeah so, but I concentrate so hard for those like seven, eight hours yeah. to get that bang on. To get that masterpiece. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's how I feel about tattooing because yeah. when they look in that mirror, it sounds bad, but I want them to cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's all out, so you only get happy when people cry. In a good way, not in a bad way. Not, not to go because this is fucking shy. <laughs> no, I want them to go, this is amazing. Because for me, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And for me, that's the most important. Especially form when of it's got like a little story behind it as well. So, um, yeah. like, just be a little, little, little last question <clears throat> about tattoo fixes. So, yeah. have you, have you got like, I know you, you say you like you got you can't really remember a lot of stuff, but what's your what's your what's your most favourite memory of tattoo fixes? Favourite memory. <clears throat> Do you know what? I've got so many good memories, yeah. so many good memories of it. Like the whole thing, I think, was the majority of it was was yeah. great. Um, I can't pinpoint, I don't think I could pinpoint a certain one. Oh, God, there's so many. We've had such a laugh. It, one thing I'd say about it is that the best thing about it was we were always laughing. Yeah. We were always, like you see it on camera. The thing is, when you see a lot of TV shows, you'll see things and you know maybe things, certain things are set up and yeah. stuff like that. With that show, the reason I think it was massive was because it was genuine. Yeah. We were pals and we were all having yeah. a laugh and we were yeah. bantering. Like, they, don't get me wrong, we had stressful moments in that yeah. day. Like, tattooing under pressure is stressful. The heat, the cameras, everything. everything. mate, so stressful. Yeah. So, but through all that, we all had each other's back. So, like, we all know how we're feeling. Yeah. But we were genuinely just bantering all yeah. the time. So, like, the whole thing was a good experience. And, you know, like, even everyone behind the scenes, we, we were like a massive family on that yeah. show. So like, and new people would come in and it would literally be like they'd been there forever, forever. Yeah. So you never felt like you, when you walked in, you're just like, oh, so-and-so's new today. It was like, oh, you're right, Sam. Yeah. And they'd been there five minutes. It was like yeah. they'd been there the whole season yeah. or the whole eight seasons or whatever. So all of it, mate, was just good crack. Yeah. Yeah. There were stressful days, don't worry. Don't get me wrong, but like, mate, it was quality, all of it. Yeah. So then you'd, um, you left Tattoo Fixers and you joined, is it, was it? Britain's best tattooist or something? Oh, no, I, I hadn't left at this point. Hadn't you left? No, no. I hadn't left. They, they, they basically gave me left. a spin-off show, yeah. Yeah. Called uh, Tattoo Artist of the Year. They asked me to be a judge that was on it, the tattoo, show, yeah. yeah. Mate, that was good too. That was fun. Yeah, but the, fun. there's a reason that you... See, like, we were talking, we were just talking then, like, and, like, about, like, how good you're on. There's a reason that you're there, that you're on that show. Like, being <laughs> oh, a, cheers, were, you, were you a judge or was it... Yeah, I was a judge, judge yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, they approached me about it and said that I was going to be doing it with Rose Hardy, who's unbelievable. Like, she's one of the most respected tattooists in the whole yeah. industry like so um i knew when she was involved as well it was going to be great um yeah i don't think there was many tattooists who were happy about being judged by me because a yeah. lot of tattooists don't like tattoo fixers but you know it How is cool. what it is 
I, I don't know, mate. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. The thing is, they take the show at face value. Yeah. They they obviously they're tattooists as well, so they think about their own yeah. way of tattooing. Yeah. Maybe they think they could do things better bit than too, you. Yeah, a bit but judgy. Yeah. Yeah, it's what it is. And then, but they don't see the behind the scenes yeah. of try doing that with what we have to do yeah. under pressure and then putting it out for the world to judge yeah. you. There's not many, I don't think, that would be like, But it's bad because, like, in my eyes, like, you're like a, you're like a role model, like an inspiration. Oh, thanks, man. In, in a way, like, you know, <laughs> like, where people, like, you know, if, if, if anyone who wants to be a tattooist, like, mm. growing up, like I say, like, I, I watched it all the time. So if I grow growing up and I wanted to be a tattooist, yeah. it would be like, like, I'd be watching you and be like, yeah, like, I want to be like Jay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, thanks, or like, mate. I want to be like Sketch or I want to be like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that means a lot, that, mate, because that's exactly what I thought when I watched him on Miami. Yeah. I literally wanted to be like Kat Von D. Yeah. The male version. So, so, <laughs> so like, I was just about, like, so, it, like, I'm saying, talking about inspiration, would you say that she's your inspiration? Um, I'd say she's inspired, yeah, inspired me at that point in my life, yeah, yeah to, to want to do, it. yeah, 100% at that time. Yeah. Um, she's quality, mate. Like, if, if like, she, when I saw her work and I was drawing portraits, mate, I just, that was it. It was just like that. Yeah. Like, in my head, I thought, that's what I want to do. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, how am I going to do that? Yeah. And then I started f f just doing, like I said, doing the drawings and stuff, and it went from there. But that's what made me want to do it. Yeah, cause, but like, like um, you go from like a show like Tattoo Fixers, which have mm. got like, everyone's got like a little story behind it, haven't they, and stuff yeah. like that. And they do build it up. They build, like, they pull the heartstrings sometimes as well. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Badly, yeah. Jake. Yeah. Um, and then you've got, an, you've got another show, which... Like it, it's good, but like sometimes I think, wow, that that's not that's not that should not be allowed. The tass <laughs> tattoo of us, have you ever seen it? Oh yeah, yeah, I've like, seen it. Yeah. I, I think I, I think it's so bad the way like you you can get whatever you want tattooed on me, and I'll get whatever tattooed on you. Like, yeah, and like some of them are bad, like proper bad. I mean, I've seen it like once or twice, and like I just, I mean, yeah, it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, like I don't think that should be allowed. Like especially when you use like their to own tat tattoo and loads of like. And then, trying to cover up yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah then people coming in from that show to coming yeah. on to you going yeah I went on tattoo I went on the, um, tattoo yeah. version he used to cover this up for yeah. me yeah I mean to be honest mate like for me when someone wants a cover up like there's people who who have little things which is like yeah cool and there's, there's people who are really struggling like because they might have gone to someone for something that was important, and then yeah. they've come I, away with something yeah. really shit. Well, there's um, I don't know whether it was the same one that Andy Grant was on the show, mm. but there was um, it might have been the one after it. Mm. Um, and there was some girl, and she she went to go and get a nan tattooed on her side. Yes, and, oh yeah, and I it, it was that, yeah. A, um, it looked like someone from Corrie Nation Street, yeah. and but she like <laughs> yeah. she just like hated it because like that was like yeah. meant so much to her, and then you're coming out with something shit. So yeah. as we were saying before, like when you're trying to do something that's so perfect for someone, yeah. It's it's them little things, Jay, where like yeah. people and people appreciate it more as well. I I, I imagine. Yeah, hundred percent. And do you know what? Where I'm at in my head now, right? So I'm, I'm trying to get where I'm at now with what I'm doing with my work and stuff. Is I want to create where people look at my work so they can see a standard of what. Yeah. If you're going to get a portrait, you know it can't be less than this. Yeah, that's why. That's where I aim to be. So I want to be one of those portrait artists that people look at and go, well, if it ain't that, it ain't good enough. Yeah. Because, so what I'm trying to say is that I want to try and avoid the point where people go and get stuff done and then have to get it covered up. Yeah. So before the cover up, yeah. and, and what I mean by that is you have to choose who you get tattooed yeah. by. Okay? And that's what I want to create. I want, you know, people need to have more knowledge about what's a good tattoo and what's not yeah. because... It's amazing to well, me. Well, age. Yeah, but it's 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 amazing to me how many people, what people think are good, what is yeah. good and, yeah. and what isn't good. Yeah. Like some people say to me, oh, I've got an amazing tattoo, you're going to love it. And I get it, out, they get it out. And I, in my head, I think, Wanksy. It is fucking shite. Yeah, like, that's Wanksy, that lad. I'm, <laughs> I'm literally looking at it thinking, how are you thinking that's good? Yeah. Won't say it. And then they'll say to me, what do you think? And that, and literally I'll just go, <laughs> that face says it all, Jay. That face says it all. Do you like all. it? Do you like it? And they'll go, Yeah, I love it. I go, That's all that matters then, isn't it? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you like it, why are you asking for if my you opinion? That, if you said that, I'd probably go, and, Oh, that, that's fucking shit then, isn't it? Jay, <laughs> Jay's had you said it's good. So, um, I'll just like a couple more, couple more uh, little questions before we uh, yeah. wrap up, Jay. Yeah, so, 
if there was any celebrity that he could tattoo, I know we yeah. said before the game, like yeah. I, that he'd be sick because he's got tattoos everywhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if there's any tattoo, if there's anyone you could tattoo anyone in the world, yeah. who would it be? Well, to be honest, now like I would for me, I'd. It's more about who I'd want to chat to through a tattoo. Yeah, that's what... Because I could feel like I could yeah, do it for them. I get, I get asked like all the time, who, who would you love to podcast? Who, who would you, yeah. If you had a chance, if you had anyone, who would, who would you do and all that? But that's only like... Because yeah. you do... You, like when you're tattooing, you're, you're not you're on top talking, are you? Oh, no, no, I, I, sometimes I, I've been like a counsellor for people. Yeah. Like, I swear to God, like some stuff people have told me, I'm like... Fuck. <laughs> oh. Jesus. <laughs> Confidential. Wow, fucking hell. <laughs> and I'll repeat that. <laughs> um... Yeah, so um, I mean, I think Conor McGregor's sick. I think yeah. he'd be like a, a dream type. Just, I'd just like to chat to him, make yeah. see what he's like, like as a proper person. That oh, yeah, I, cool. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to mention. Congratulations on the uh, blue belt. Oh, nice one, mate. Yeah, Cheers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. For people yeah. don't know, Jay is also a uh, do do, do jujitsu, don't you? Yeah, jujitsu. Yeah, I think it's sick. Yeah. That. Yeah, nice one, mate. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, I love it, mate. Yeah, do yeah. Oh, mate, absolutely love it. You competed. Yeah, I yeah. have. I competed. I'm actually competing on the weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. where? Yeah. ASW Liverpool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a show on there, so I'm going to compete there. Oh, I'm away. I'm away tomorrow. Oh yeah. I'm going to with the came and watched. Oh yeah, yeah, sick. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to definitely next time you compete, I'll have to definitely because cool, I love watching the Jewish yeah. show. It's great. Oh mate, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like so, a, few, a couple of years ago, I started it like nearly two years ago. I've been, I've been doing it nearly two years now, and my brother had done it. I'd been doing it for a year before that, <clears throat> and uh, I've been. I was uh, doing boxing with Paddy. Paddy Plymouth. Was yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, I trained with Paddy. I was doing boxing with Paddy for like two years. And uh my brother was going, You should come do jiu-jitsu. And I was like, No, nah, I'm not into that. And he was yeah. like, It's sick. And I was like, I like doing the boxing. With Paddy I was the that. same, Jay. I yeah. was, I was the same until I've got properly into like the great yeah. seasons. That's yeah. what you say. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start this year. Like, yeah. That's amazing, mate. So I literally went to one class, mate, and uh I was like, right, okay. And I walked into this class and do you know another thing? Before I say this, I don't know how anyone would walk into an MMA gym or a, or a, or a boxing gym with an ego. Yeah, you're walking into a gym where people can batter you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. There's no. I don't understand people who are going there for the first time who come in with like this yeah. hard man persona because yeah. you're in there with killers. That's it. Like, yeah, they will murder you. Plus, like. also, I feel like sometimes when you go into a gym, it's a bit clicky. Yeah, you know what I mean. So you've got to build. You've got to build in, yeah. into it. Right. Yeah. So so I went into this gym and it was sick. And mate, the first time I rolled with someone. I was like, what the fuck is happening to me here? Like, <laughs> I, I rolled with this lad, right? It was about, I weigh four, like just under 14 stone. And this lad, mate, he must have been, <laughs> he must have been about nine and a half, ten stone That's max. the best thing about it, though. Yeah. And literally, I remember thinking, all oh, right, I might have a chance here with this lad because he's a lot smaller than me, yeah? yeah? And I remember thinking, I'll just grab him, right? Yeah. Well, fuck me, mate. I didn't know what the fuck. Within seconds, mate. He battered me. Yeah? <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck was that. He climbed up me like he was sat on the floor. Yeah, and I was stood over him. He climbed up me like a little monkey on a tree yeah. and pulled Sucked me to back. the ground, like and just choked me out. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, "What the fuck just happened there?" And I remember thinking, "Wow, I've got to learn this shit." Yeah. And mate, I just haven't stopped going since. Yeah, like, mate, I love it. It's a shame we haven't got more time, more, enough to, uh, more time, because I'd literally, I'd love to talk to you about mate, this. Mate, go ahead, I'm, I'm easy. Uh, we, can get, we can definitely get you back on, though, if, you, yeah. if you're interested, we'll talk about it then. Um, mm. Jacob, can, he, can you uh, get them uh, figures off? So so now we've got a few tattoos, Jake. Yeah. I don't know how comfortable you feel about rating someone else's tattoo. Oh, right, okay, wait but, there. Whose are they? I just off the know. internet. Off the internet, yeah. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> it, don't forget if you don't if you if you know the person who's done them, yeah, it, we can get them edited yeah, out. Right, okay, okay. Right. Um, we're gonna rate these out of three. So basically, this one's the Kobe Bryant tribute tattoo, right? And the next picture is what I, what I'd say a Kobe Bryant tribute tattoo is. So that's that's yeah, a Kobe Bryant. Steve Butcher, that is, that's isn't a, it? That's is that a, Steve Butcher. That's a Kobe Bryant. Steve Butcher's work. That's that. A, that is like a proper tattoo. That's like it looks like your work. And mm. then you got that. Oh, that's like what I do if you ask me to do that. Yeah, that, that, that's me. That's me. That I've done that myself. to be Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Rest in peace in the uh, in the backboard. Fucking hell. I know. It's a bit Who? disrespectful, like, to be oh, fair. Mate, I mean, well, th do you know what? When I look at that, I think, I've seen tattoos like this before, right? And all I think about is how, as a tattooist, you can go, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> when they ask you. 
<laughs> when they say, I want a portrait of Kobe Bryant, you go, yeah, sound okay. <laughs> Knowing that that's what you're going to do. <laughs> oh. Like, you're literally going to do that song forever, mate. That person's got to go on holiday, take the top off and, and, and see that. Mate, I don't know. <laughs> Does it need rating? Uh, well, yeah, sorry, we've got to give that one a zero out, out of three. So go to the next one. So we got wow. this one. I call this checkers in a uh, ch chess and checkers. Uh, if you lost the board, you can play on the man's face. Uh, and also he blends in with the background from the looks of it as well. If he uh, if he if he lines himself right here, there. Who, who would even go through with one of them? Mate, that's for heavy, that isn't it. That's what type of meth? What type of meth would that have to be to uh, try that? I mean, he's got a neck tattoo in that, but you know his face. Getting your face though is heavy, man. Yeah, you know, have you ever he, tattooed someone's face, Jay? Uh, no, I don't think I no. have. I've tattooed someone's head. Can you? Uh, I want a little uh, teardrop if you can. Uh, <laughs> I've tattooed <laughs> someone's head, but not their face. I think faces are like it eats their own, and like some people can pull it off, but that's quite extreme. Some people get their eyeballs tattooed, don't they? It's not actual it, uh, no? tattoo machine. No, I think it's like an injection. I think it's a medical, a proper medical procedure. That. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse me. So, what are we giving this one then, Jay? I, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't rate that. Really. So again, know, like, again, again, we give that one, a, we give that one a one or a zero. It's not my thing. Is it better or worse than the Kobe Bryant one? Yeah, is I it don't know. I don't know what <laughs> it, it's on his face. Like you, there's no going back. So this one, I, I mean, act, that's quite clever. I like this one because I, I, I have seen that before. We, that's quite clever. One of the tattoos I did once was uh, I want used to want where's Wally behind me here because it's like a little play on like where, where, oh you found Wally, but I like the way he's got a little mole in his head. I mean, thought, you know quite, what? I'll put the Jordan. Clever. You know, I can't knock that really. That's uh... so we're giving that one one or two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not something I'd have, but you know, for I'd give it a six for creativity. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Uh, you know, your football, aren't you? Yeah. Do you remember the Rossi? He plays for Roma. Yeah. Love the tackle. So he got a hazard time tackling. Oh, Because right. he, he loves the tackle. So, uh, it's pretty cool. I like it myself. I like yeah, the I way, like, it. like, you know, it's got the theme and stuff like that. And yeah, it's all right, that. I mean, it's just, it's just a tattoo. It's amazing. Yeah. It looks like it's done all right. So I'd say eight. Eight. For, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's done badly. So, looks okay. Wow. <laughs> this one. Uh, I think it's meant to be Jesus, but it looks more like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Literally. Fuck do, do you know what? Me, me dad's got me dad's got something similar. It, it's not as bad as that, right? But me dad went. Me dad got a. It, um, it's meant to be an angel, but it looks like a Rastafarian. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad, mate. Like that's the, that's another what? that's another <sighs> non. I don't know who to blame here. The person who got tattooed, letting someone do that, or the person who did it. Like, I don't, like... You must have been looking at it going, ah, do you, this, do you, this is what I mean about what I was trying to say before, about people need to know what's a good tattoo or not. Yeah. How is that? I don't know that how that's happened. <laughs> I don't know how you've let that happen to yeah. yourself because look how far it's gone up. Like, there's a point of that. That's taken a few hours. Well, maybe it hasn't actually, but you know, it's taken some time. The only you, the start of it, the only you half must be going to flowers. Looks... That's the only half decent. And then, when I'm saying half decent, I mean like quarter. That's the best part of a very bad tattoo. Yeah. Oh, mate, I can't even rate it. Like, it's, it's, yeah, they're, they're, they're unratable. Yeah. So let's go, let's go to the next one there, Jacob. So that's so, not real. So this one, right? You didn't see UFC. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Joanna and JJ. Yeah, okay, goes the next picture. The next picture, you go. What? Goes, goes the next picture. <laughs> it's not meant to be. That's it's meant to be Ariana Grande. Yeah, but as looks, Joanna Jenjaja. But no, no, no. It's, Am I it, saying that right? Yeah, but it, it looks more like yeah, you know, yeah. It looks more like the UFC face. Right. Doesn't it? What? That, I want to know what the story is behind that because that, that's not real. That can't. He's not. No. <laughs> that. Can't be a copy of that. Like, have you never seen that before? No, I have seen. I think I've seen it before. See, like, you think but I, I'm sure. That, is that a joke? Is it a joke? I don't know. I, I, it's got to be a joke. That I don't believe that's a natural. I'm just like, oh, look at this. I've done this. Yeah. I mean, anyone who who's got eyes can see that that is not a copy of that. <laughs> Surely, it's like a pancake. I don't know. But I, I, just as soon as I seen that, I thought that looks like the UFC fighter. It yeah. does. Yeah. I mean, look at. That's heavy. That, that was bad. That, that way. fight. Yeah, it was bad. Way. Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, the little, cl the little classic one. Yeah. The music you're looking for. 
Yeah. The next one, Jacob. What would you say that one was? I mean, do you know, I'm not into the funny tattoos. Oh, you know, do you know what? I've seen so many tattoos that I just don't find them funny anymore. Oh, don't you know? That, no. Well, to be fair, I got I whacked a couple on there because I thought, you know what, like, the, you know, the funny it, for the it funny. It would take tag. a lot for me to think something was funny. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've seen it all, haven't you? you know yeah. Because I've seen, you've seen this one. Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, <laughs> that see that one. That one made them laugh. That's a decent yeah. one. You know what I mean? Because. That's that's I like people who have got can, the humor. I've got the humor, but yeah. that's it. Like, I've seen one where like they got like a shark, yeah. Where they lost yeah. Them, I like yeah. people that make yeah. light of a bad situation. Yeah, this is probably the best tattoo. I, I love Will Smith. How oh, incredible is that? Yeah, that's amazing. Who's done yeah. that? I don't, I don't know. Okay. It was just yeah. online. It was like like top 100 uh, yeah, tattoos. That's the bollocks, that this guy's in there. Uh, call this guy the human passport, Jay. So, uh, do you know when you get your, sta uh, your passport stamped, he uh. just gets tattooed wherever he's been? <laughs> Is that what he does? No, it does show you. It like, looks like he does. It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Jeez. I mean, yeah. I don't get it. I don't know why. Why Why? Why couldn't you have had them somewhere else? Why, <laughs> why does it have to be on the face? I don't know. I don't know. Just to show people where he's been? Yeah. <laughs> look, at, look where I've been. I've been. What does it say on his forehead? What does it actually say? Believe it or not, Guinness Book of Records. Does it actually? Yeah. He's in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> for having the most I know, I've got dyslexia as well. I've done well there. <laughs> well, talking about dyslexia, if you go to the next one, someone dyslexic definitely read this one. Oh, I've posted about that one before. <laughs> yeah. I've posted that knowledge. No power. ledge is power. It is power, though, it is. Just, just <laughs> to let people know, no ledge is power. <laughs> <laughs> This oh, one? I've posted that as well. <laughs> yeah. I've, posted that. I've posted some of these. I've seen worse than, in person. Than that? Yeah. I mean, that they You can tell who it is, like. What? <laughs> I don't know what happens when they look in the mirror. I know. Especially because it's on your back. But, like, what, all these tattoos, when you see them, at, at some point they go, right, we're done. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. And then you look at that. What do you say? See, when you said before, what do you say? I, 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 I cry, I, I cry, yeah, but not, not, not a joy like yours. I, I cry in misery. What I, would I, you do if you had that on your back? I, I can't say on camera. I'd fucking get one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Holy shit! Yeah, but there's a few bad tattoos. So I want to just have a little laugh at the end. Yeah, you know cool, what man. Mean? yeah man, they're sick. I'll, um, probably best to round it off now, isn't it, Jake? Yep. So, um. I'd like to uh, thank my sponsors, um, Wellness Lab CBD and Powers of 10. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Jake up behind the scenes. The man, is, the man does bits, you know. <laughs> um, Jay, would you like to shout out anything? Shop or anything? Uh, yeah. If you want to get tattooed by me, a lot of people want to know how to get in touch with me. I only take tattoos by email. So my email is j.hutton at outlook.com. It's the only way. I don't really do it over DMs. So if you want to get in touch, get a tattoo, drop me an email, guys. Thank you very much and boom.